Hi friends, this is Dr. Vivek Goyal and I'm back with a video presentation on a very important topic that is renal tubular acidosis type 3. Very many of you have been requesting me in your previous comments to make a video presentation on this topic. It is a very very important topic for any entrance examination that you might appear for be it the All India Postgraduate Entrance, be it the USMLE or the MRCP. So let's start with the basic physiology of this topic. Coming to proximal convoluted tubule, well in the PCT there is the absorption of the bicarbonate and that is that is mediated by a very very important enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase type 2. The carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme it converts the bicarbonate into H2CO3 and cleaves it again to form the CO2 and H2O and thus mediating the entry of this and thus helping in the absorption of bicarbonate through the PCT. So it is basically the carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme that is responsible for the bicarbonate reabsorption in the PCT. Coming to the cortical collecting duct that is the alpha intercalated cell. That, well we do know this is the principal site of acidification of urine. We do know from the physiology knowledge that urine is mainly acidified in the alpha intercalated cell of the cortical collecting duct. Why? Because there are two proton secreting channels on the luminal aspect that is the H plus ATPase that secretes the proton and one is the H plus K plus antiport that secretes the proton in exchange of a potassium. Both these protons come again with the help of an enzyme which lies inside the cell that is carbonic anhydrase 2. So here again carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme it helps to acidify urine. So basically now we do know what is the important role physiological role of carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme that is helps in both in the reabsorption of bicarbonate and to acidify urine. So what is RTA type 3? RTA type 3 at the onset let me tell you it is a very rare disease. It is a very rare disease. It is an autosomal recessive disease. It is an autosomal recessive disease and is characterized by deficiency of the all important carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme. So it is due to the deficiency of carbonic anhydrase 2 enzyme. And you do know that if this deficiency occurs, it will lead to features of both type 2 RTA and type 1 RTA. And we do know that type 2 RTA is characterized by bicarbonate urea because bicarbonate will not be absorbed and type 2 RTA will lead to inability to acidify urine. In short, in short, RTA type 3 will lead to a combination of features which is basically a mix which is basically having both the features of type 1 and type 2 RTA. And why is that so? It is very very evident. So what will this patient present to you with? The clinical features are the of type 1 RTA plus type 2 RTA. These will be the electrolyte and the acid base features. Next, the patient will have cerebral calcification. The patient shall have osteopetrosis. And that is why, and that is why this disease is also known as marble brain disease, which is a very, very important MCQ. Marble brain disease is dash. It is basically type 3 renal tubular acidosis. It is also known by a, re a relatively confusing name 
that is i'm so sorry it is known as gubord wenzel syndrome so these are the very very important clinical features and the pathogenesis of type 3 rt i hope you understood and clarified your concept my facebook page goes in the name of love for medicine and my youtube channel is by the name of dr vivek goel nephrology please do like share and give comments and do tell me how much did you understand and what other topics do you want me to make informative videos on till then happy learning happy revising take care